Hi. So we've had the log cabin here for 25 plus years. We came, um, we bought it from a guy, he was a veteran, um, made the own, his own house. And uh, I feel he didn't do a lot of things correctly. So we're slowly repairing and changing things up. Um, the inside of the house has this caulk if you can see, it kind of looks nice, right? But when you get really close to it, it's not very nice. I've hated it for since the minute I seen it. So if you look, it's really, it's um dripping kind of, sort of. It's not a nice clean edge. <clears throat> And of course I had children and uh, at the dinner table they would pick it and it's kind of spongy um, I don't know if this is the right stuff you're supposed to use but it's in our entire house so it's a little overwhelming but I have decided to take it out and put new stuff in. So I, I did the bedroom already and I um, was really impressed. Hold on, I'll show you real fast. I don't wanna make this video super long. But <clears throat> I just redid our bedroom, but like, I took all the white stuff off and then I put like matching caulk or I don't know people call it chinking or caulk or whatever you want to call it a lot of work is what it is <clears throat> so the, the the living area is by far the worst <clears throat> so I was wanting to share with you what exactly it is. So on the wall, it is this like spongy stuff, okay? And then behind this spongy stuff, once you pick that off, is this really hard stuff. Like super, super hard. Um, this is all trial and error. So what I do is I have some tools. I have uh, I have this as my friend, this as my friend, and a hammer. Okay. So what I've been doing is basically all this drippy stuff. It's like soft. It actually comes right off. Right. Um, once that little stuff is off, the squishy stuff, um, sometimes I'll take the hammer and I'll bang and try to chisel out that rock stuff. Um, then I've got this gummy, goopy, yucky stuff from the sponge stuff. Um, so after I could get out and scrape out as much as I can with this and this and the hammer, I now use this crud cutter, crud cutter. My sister gave it to me, it's freaking amazing. It actually freaking works. It doesn't harm the wood at all, I'm like stunned. So I use the crud cutter and I spray it on the cracks where the caulk is. And I try to catch the drips so just in case it's bad. <clears throat> and I bought these little sponges. It's a scrubber. So I just scrub with this and keep scrubbing. I towel dry it. Um, and then I go back to the scraper 
And uh, I've done about this here to this up about there. That's about maybe two hours. I just did that. And uh, looks it looks pretty freaking good actually. Not gonna lie, I'm wicked impressed. Um, so then you've got that crud cutter still on, so I try to, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm supposed to, but like I said, I, this is trial and error. I use like a damp cloth and I wipe it off with like just a damp cloth and water. And then I have another cloth. I just dripped it of Murphy's oil. And um, I put this on my rag and I go over the wood. Um, and uh, that's all I've done so far. <clears throat> so sometimes by accident, you might use the scraper a little too hard and hit spots that you didn't want to. Um, and so what I did is I just bought this. I had this actually, and it actually matches my wood pretty well. And I just take a paper towel and put it on and cover it up actually works really, really well. So after I'm happy with this wall, we have a company called Lock and Logs. I think it's out of Norwich. Lock, Lock and Logs. And they carry Conceal. And this is the, this is the caulk that I'm using. And they have all different colors. So I was just trying to match up um, the various colors. And um, this is the winner that I'm going to do instead of the ugly white. So um, it matches pretty well. I'm really super, super, super excited um, to do that. And uh, I don't know. Hopefully you don't have a problem like this that I have. Um, but if you do, maybe this helps you. Good luck.